This is Megan from You Go To Bikini, and I'm here with Ellie. We are out working in our garden, which has been very neglected lately, huh, Ellie? <laughs> so, um, we are taking out the old tomato cages. We're trying to get some of the broken down mulch out of the chicken run and get it up in, in the garden on the beds, I'm trying to just rake everything out evenly. But uh, yeah, we have a lot of work to do, and Ellie's helping me out. Absolutely beautiful tonight. We've got an awesome sunset going, and we've been out in the garden. It actually was just a few minutes, but we got everything leveled out. I do have some garlic up over here. It all just kind of looks like one big mass, but you can see how rich and dark the soil is. We got all of our tomato cages off of uh, those T posts there, and then there were some here along the same line. Now, here, this section of garden, I'm having some issues with the Bermuda grass. This section back here is a lot of Bermuda grass and it's coming in. So I think I'm gonna get the chickens in here and let them really tear this up and try to get rid of some of that Bermuda grass on my edge. But otherwise I have a nice big open space. This is where all the carrots were and I raked it out smooth. It looks amazing. And then I've got garlic growing in here. So this is my elderberry. I'm gonna to have to prune this back I think I really need to move it. It's getting way too big for here. I think I can actually just move it back along this fence line. So I'm not sure. It just kind of depends on how much time we have, how many projects we have, but I love how soft this is. So I'm just standing here and my footprint is stepping in and making this big. It's, oh, it's so soft. And this is all just wood chips and a couple of years too. We're two years, this will be our third planting season. So. Um, this was all wood chips to begin with a little bit of hay out of the barn and some old old manure out of the barn but most of this was just wood chips it's super cool We are trying to sort out some of this mulch. This is our best compost here, uh, but the Bermuda grass grew up into it. And I already struggled with the Bermuda grass in the garden, so I'm trying to use this as a screen to keep the Bermuda grass out. And the dirt we're getting is fantastic. So it takes a little bit of extra work, but it should help in the long run keeping the Bermuda grass out of the garden. same time up and down at the same time okay and then try yep then try going back and forth towards Ellie yep so you got to get a rhythm yep there you go are helping me. We're screening in the mulch. I'm trying to 
time to add dirt. We actually plan on planting our sugar snap peas um, right over here. We've got the tea post there. We're gonna put the cattle panel back up there and plant our sugar snap peas. They can actually be planted in January. I can plant them now. So we're gonna try to get some really good soil underneath them. Thank you, Caleb. And then they will get a really good start, so. Got them all in? Yep. All right, cover them all up, pat them gently. Okay, we got our cattle panel in and a whole row of sugar snap peas. It's January 12th, and they should be all good to go. We planted them in January before, so we yeah, gonna keep you updated as they come up. But we have our, uh, I guess garlic was the first thing, but we have our first non-garlic thing all planted. So the other day, Ellie and I were working in the garden, and we've also made a couple of upgrades to the chickens. So I'm going to show you what we've been doing with the chickens. And um, yeah, this week is just a little bit of garden work, a little bit of chicken work, and just kind of random things throughout the throughout the farm. So up until a few days ago, we had a whole new set of hens in our tractor here. And so just the other day, we moved them nearby the chicken yard. We put them in. So these are our girls. They're uh, mostly Americanas and some barred rocks. And this is pretty much the whole new flock. Uh, we make sure that they have their own water on one side. Um, and usually there's a food bowl over on one side, but it's uh, it's been very rainy today. Uh, so they're just kind of scrounging. The food bowls are hiding under our coop here. And then the old flock is hanging out over here. So they kind of stay separated as two groups. Um, but uh, those chickens are doing much better. They've A bunch of them have molted and stuff and their feathers are growing back. Um, and these guys look really good. It's just the first time that they've been out in the open area. So we put them side by side for about a day and they've been in this area. That box has been moving around over here in this grass. And so far they're doing all right. They're getting along the rooster. There are two roosters. Um, and they kind of have been telling each other to knock it off, but no crazy fights or anything weird. Um, we will probably go down to one rooster. Um, roosters are hard. I need to have, find a time to actually process them. I don't want to just kill a rooster for no good reason. Uh, that's not cool. Um, and we haven't had a chance to actually like process one. So anyway, he is just kind of hanging out. These chickens are really pretty there. And the Americanas are laying blue and green eggs, which is really fun. And they're still decent layers. These are our young poults, so they are the ones laying for us right now, although all of them have been not laying very much for us. So we tried to, we moved them in here just to condense our chores and to hopefully get some better sunlight for them and some, and some better egg laying out of them. The other upgrade we made to our chicken run is we've got these wood chips in here and they help a ton, but our land is sloped. And so they've been sliding out as the chickens scratch them and going out through this fence down here. And so we took these boards uh, maybe a week or so ago and we took those boards and just laid them up against the fence to help stop some of that mulch coming out. And so now we do need to get some new mulch in here. I grabbed some of the stuff that the chickens have broken down and that's what I put in the garden. Uh, we definitely need more in here, and this is where not having a tractor, <sighs> the tractor with a bucket is definitely, definitely tough, but uh, we'll get it done. We've got shovels, we've got the boys. Uh, it's just a matter of time and priorities. Uh, there's always so much to get done. So we do need to get some more chips in here, but the wood there has been helping a bunch. So we've got the chickens combined, we've got the wood on there, and we've got the garden started to uh, look better for spring. So just all the things getting taken care of. Um, but that's all we've got for you this week. Thanks for watching.